Picture this, Roman aqueducts still standing strong after 2000 years, while modern bridges crumble in mere decades. What did the Romans know that we've forgotten? Stick with me until the end where I'll reveal the secret recipe behind this ancient marvel, a recipe that can completely transform modern construction. I'm a structural engineer with 12 plus years of experience in projects like hospitals, universities and concert venues. Today we're tackling a question engineers have been asking for centuries. Why is ancient Roman concrete better than ours? It's not just about durability, it's about innovation and sustainability, concepts the Romans mastered long before us. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what made their concrete so special and we'll explore how modern science is working to bring this ancient technology back to life. Let's dive in. Concrete has been used for thousands of years, but the Romans took it to the next level around 200 BCE. The recipe, volcanic ash, lime and aggregates created a material that could endure anything from seismic activity to raging seawater. Take aqueducts like the Pont du Gard or the Pantheon's Dome. These aren't just marvels of architecture, they're triumphs of engineering that have withstood earthquakes, floods and time itself. And here's the kicker. The Romans didn't just build, they optimized, they customized their concrete blends for different environments, setting a precedent we're only now rediscovering. And the secret, you may ask, pozzolanic ash, found in volcanic regions like Pozzoli near Mount Vesuvius. This ash reacts with lime and water to form a compound called calcium aluminum silicate hydrate, a substance that made their concrete self-healing and incredibly durable. When seawater seeps into this mix, it triggers the growth of minerals like tobermorite and philipsite, which seals cracks and strengthens the structure over time. It's like ancient nanotechnology. Imagine your walls and foundations repairing themselves automatically. No patch jobs, no costly repairs. Here's where it gets interesting. Modern concrete relies on Portland cement, which sets quickly but doesn't age well. It's vulnerable to cracking from water infiltration and temperature changes. Roman concrete, on the other hand, thrives in harsh environments. Just look at the Pantheon's dome, nearly 2000 years old and still standing tall. Meanwhile, modern bridges often need repairs within 50 years. But why? The Romans prioritized long-term resilience while we focused on short-term efficiency. But the Romans didn't just rely on their concrete mix, they engineered brilliance within every aspect of their structures. Take the Pantheon's dome. Its recessed panels, called cufferings, aren't just decorative, they reduced weight without compromising strength. And their layered approach using heavier aggregates at the base and lighter materials like pumice at the top helped their building survive earthquakes that moves the center of mass lower down the building. Today, researchers are studying Roman concrete to replicate its properties. From volcanic ash to industrial byproducts like fly ash, new concretes are being developed that could self-heal and outlast traditional materials. These innovations could transform infrastructure in harsh environments, saving billions of maintenance costs and drastically improving sustainability. Concrete production accounts for 8% of global CO2 emissions. Roman style concrete could slash these numbers by using natural and recycled materials, reducing the need for energy intensive kilns. It's not just about durability, it's about building a greener, more sustainable future. So what's the secret? It's not just the ingredients, it's the philosophy. The Romans built for eternity, blending volcanic ash, lime and water to create a material that grows stronger with time. Now imagine if we combine this ancient wisdom with modern technology. Could we build structures that could last centuries instead of decades? Thanks for watching and fascinated by how ancient knowledge can shape modern solutions. Hit that like button and subscribe and tell me in the comments, should we bring back Roman concrete? Let's build a future that lasts together.